All right, you may encounter a problem where your high temperature print head is clogged and the filament won't flow through. Generally what happens is, though it is possible for the nozzle to get clogged with debris, it's usually because if the head is allowed to sit for a long period of time without flowing, the material will gradually melt higher and higher in the tube. And when it gets slightly higher than the actual heat chamber, it's difficult to remelt it and it can cause a clog up here. So there, are, it's a pretty simple procedure to clean it out. You just need a couple of special tools, a drill bit that is thinner than the filament because you don't want to actually scratch and damage the walls, and then a two millimeter reamer, both of which can be purchased at McMaster Car or any machine supply shop. So first thing I'm gonna do is just drop off the heat shroud. You may need to cut and replace this zip tie on the wires. When you do this, I'm just going to slide this down a bit. What I'm trying to do here is I don't want to damage this uh, Teflon tube in here, so I just want to make sure that if I drill through, it has it can come out easily. And let me see if I can do this. Gonna pull this out. All right, this is a really small drill bit. I'm just gonna make it easier to clamp in my drill with a micro chuck. If you have a drill that holds the small drill bits, you don't need to do that. So all I'm doing here, change to the reamer. Oops. Still some residual plastic in there. I'm just going to use some compressed air to pull it out. I'm going to sight through it up into the light to make sure everything looks clean and shiny in there. Alright, and it's probably best to go ahead and put in a new nozzle, although your old nozzle may still be fine, but you can um, purchase some more of those. On your um, the PTFE tube that goes in the top, one side has a slight countersink to it, which just helps the filament feed in. It might not show up well on the um, camera, but it has a slight countersink. Make sure that side is up. Slide that back in. And be careful not to pinch the wires when you reconnect everything. Oops, just drop that. The set screw. This is the set screw that holds the tube in. And I'm just putting a little pressure down to make sure it seats all the way at the top. And as far as orientation goes, yeah, I need to twist that a little bit. You just want to try to keep your wires kind of straight, so. Gently pull the wires back
snug up your nozzle. Don't try to put too much torque on it. You'll feel it when it seats nicely. You're really just, and you should be ready to go. And you should be able to hold it up to the light and just barely see the light coming all the way through. You might not with your camera. But. Right. Then we'll replace the... I'm just going to replace the zip tie on the wires. Alright, and you're ready to reload and start another print.